Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some EU4 and today we're gonna start a new campaign. Wrapping up the Dutch World Conquest was fun, but uh, I look forward to what's to come. And I figured what better way to finish out what hopefully is gonna be one of the last campaigns we do in 1.29, the Golden Century Pat, uh, the Golden Century DLC run, then Castile, uh, Spain, you know, the play, the campaign that the whole DLC was focused around, right? Iberia. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, before we get started, though, there's a few housekeeping things I need to do. It's always customary for me now, always uh, as of the last few campaigns, to give a shout out to a smaller YouTuber that I feel you guys would enjoy. <clears throat> so in the last one in Basilius, I mentioned my buddy Quagersol, and uh, I would like to do that again. I would like to extend to you guys an invitation to check out my buddy Quagersol. Great guy. He's in the Discord. He's active. He's a really cool guy, and he makes great EU4 content as well as other stuff. His link's gonna be his channel's gonna be linked in the description. Check him out. He's awesome. As far as this campaign, it is going to be taking out the uh, the middle once daily slot for now. Um, but as long as we are getting at least 500 likes each day on our videos, we're gonna go up to twice daily when. Uh, we finish up our Basilius campaign, or as it starts to wind down. So if you guys are excited to see some Spain, and we're going to go colonizer, we're going to go like the traditional Spain, we are not only are going to be going for Forever Golden, but we may make it into a world conquest, depending on if the interest is there. Um, and so without too much more, let's get into it. So we're going to play on Iron Man, of course we will. And this one will be Forever golden so first and foremost there's a few things and <clears throat> i'll be honest i didn't do a whole lot of preparation for this i have a spain campaign where i almost got a world conquest for a double time lapse i was doing with my buddies levick but uh i in fact did not finish the world conquest but before day one this is what you do see this dude right here see him the infertile zero 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 boom it's worth the negative prestige promise we're going to go ahead and rival... Hmm, I don't want to rival. I will rival Aragon. I will rival Morocco. And I will rival... Let's rival... England. I will ally France. I will... Ally Portugal for a moment. We can afford advisors, so let's go ahead and go with... The These ones. Yeah, these are all full price, so this is fine. We can stay focusing on milk. That's fine with me. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and turn our military off. And there is a few things we need to get started. We need to prepare for the Reconquista. So we need to get um, our army up to force limit and 60% of our manpower. So we start with 10% army professionalism. So that's pretty good. We're just going to go ahead and blow it all right on that. And, um, we are going to need, what? Seven. Seven more guys. So we need one cav. And then... And then what does this leave us at? Nope. Eh. Hot keys, right? Two more. Uh, two more over here. And then, uh, we should be pretty close to that, actually. Pretty close to the 60 right then and there. Portugal, I will ally. Um, Navarra, I would like to probably vassalize. You just need to be careful because they will um, fall into a union under um, Aragon if you're not careful. And so, let's see here. Let's go ahead and take these guys and have them protecting trade in Sevilla. Let's go ahead and have two of the heavies hunting pirates in Sevilla. There we go. Let's go ahead and get you guys down here in Sevilla. And then, um, let's see here. Just trying to make sure I'm getting everything set up the correct way. We're going to send somebody to befriend you. 
Okay. Disputed succession. Bohemia got a king. Oh no, they did not. Vladislav. Vladislavs? I can't remember how to pronounce it. Yes, I will royal marry you. So we just need to be quick about this before he falls into our PU. Yes, I will, I will marry the French. Then we just need to give him a gift. And so, for those of you who don't know, I'm trying to snipe a vassal, a diplo vassalization of him before he falls under a PU under um, Aragon, which will happen. So, transfer trade power. Oh. A 633? Um, Child in the Reeds. Is that laughter? Hmm. 633 is pretty good. <clears throat> so... I'm under the impression that if we just wait, if there's a we will eventually get an Isabella. So I'm not actually sure if this is the best idea to take this, but I could be wrong. Um We're gonna roll the die and see what happens if we don't do that. Go ahead and uh, proclaim a guarantee. Okay. I will gladly help them out. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I will march on over. Siege down the board for them. Yeah, I can't say I want it because they're cores of his, so. Um, I assume I'm probably okay to actually just have my army maintenance turned off. I just need to be aware of what's going on. Ah. Uh, no. You know what? I don't want to waste the manpower. I'd rather let my manpower stack up. So let's just go ahead. Can offer him vassalization and then he will go spend his manpower on it. And our navy needs to be growing as well. I didn't read that. So we need at least one more. Let's go ahead and request a light. We also forgot to do these clicks here. So let's do those. Let's see here. What can I give to the Burgers? Well, I want to give Sevilla to the Burgers. Let's go ahead and call a diet. Demand mill. And then I'm just going to... They're going to be upset regardless. So I'm going to... Oh, I have to wait till November. Ah, well, that's a bummer. Um, let's go ahead and do these clicks here. All right, let's wait till November and then we'll revoke Sevilla and give it to the burgers. It's not going to fire in the meantime. And so we should just need to wait about a year and we'll be able to uh, get that click there. Our army size is not big enough now. Ah, right, because of our vassalization of Navarra. He gave us a couple of uh, force limit. That is correct. So then in November, we'll be able to get this mess all sorted out down here. November 11th. Of course. One year after the start date. Um, hello. Can I do it now? There we go. They're gonna be mad, don't care a whole lot, particularly. So now, I can, um, oh dang it, they're still not influential enough. Let's see here. Um... Who's got what, though? That's the problem that I'm running into. So I need something that's at least 10 dev. None of these are. This one is, but I don't want to make the clergy super disloyal. So... Let's see here. Do they get rid of... So I'm just trying to see here. If I were to give this to anybody... Local tax, this is production, I believe, right? 
force limit modifier. Let's just see here. If I were to give this to the burger, local production efficiency. Okay, let's just give this to the burgers. That will make them influential enough to do the clicks. And then I will also take the monies, which is good. I will then give their leader him to there. And uh, we do need to be careful though, because he does have that navy flinging around six heavies, so. Definitely should be aware. Now we're just waiting on this ship and we'll be able to attack Granada here whenever that truce is up. Which is what, February of 48? Army tradition is very good. The sooner I can get these guys loyal, the better. So, oh wait, they're, they literally just gained too much. Damn it, man. Should have read it better. That's fine. I wanted to, um... What can I take from them? I don't know, is it really worth taking any of them from them? Take Madrid from them, it's a good province. Give that to like the clergy instead, or the burgers probably. Go ahead and return you. So since I'm at war, hmm, just curious, I'm not too sure. We'll see, we will see. Let's go ahead and put a general in here and we will revoke this one. And I will turn right around and give it to the burgers, which will make them loyal. They're super disloyal. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, the nobility are gonna... Are you kidding me, dude? The nobility can honestly slob the knob. I'm so sick of this. All right. So here we go. Gonna have to fight some rebels today. Let's spend some mill points. Recruit another general. And uh, what do we get for tuning the Reconquista? Morale. So I'll wait another month for that. Uh, Portugal can... They can be mad, I don't care. Um... And I feel like I, I have these guys on the wrong one. Nope, that's okay. Very good. So go ahead and have you guys break off and have you guys break off. And that should... Yep, there you go. And now we have a bunch of... Uh, angry provinces. <laughs> um, Subjugate Navarra. Very good. 20 years. They gain a castle and 20 defensiveness. Um, I think I might as well wait on that one. I don't think there's any reason to have a big rush. Hmm. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and turn our maintenance down just a bit. <clears throat> we still want them to reinforce, but we don't want them to reinforce too much. Um, participation is 1%, not bad. <laughs> Definitely need to be careful. We already did our click, so that's good. Let's go ahead and go with the... Uh... Hmm. I'm not actually sure if there's an objectively better one. This one would be nice later on, but I like the chance to capture enemy ships, as well as the naval maintenance modifier. I think I'd rather steal the enemy's fleet. The enemy's fleet. The enemy sh fleet. Aragon getting their claims. So Granada is allied to Tunis and guaranteed by Portugal. Interesting. So I wonder... If I were to get some claims on you, if I would be able to call Portugal in, use Portugal to help beat up their navy, and then... Use that to obfuscate a war with these guys. That might be my best bet as to getting that war started. Alfonso de Avis. I'm just waiting on this event to fire. Hopefully my king doesn't die. 
Hold on, Juan. They need a Jigellian. The, the Commonwealth is born. Okay. So, for anybody who does not know this, uh, I don't know if Castilian shows it, but we get Restore CB on Portugal, um, Austria, and England, I believe. Restore the Union CB. Oh, he's about to lose to Rebels? Ah, he won. Feels bad, man. I got excited. So does that mean they keep their poo-poo? Yep. The 110. That's a mistake. Alright, let's get these guys down here and prepared. Turn maintenance up like halfway. Alright. If they do not um, start up Malacca, start this fort up, that'd be great because this fort is a total pain in the booty all the time. So let's see here. When is this truce up? February. So this is assuming that he will join in on a call to arms. Portugal would join in. So let's go ahead and pull these guys here. I will call Portugal in. And then before I actually do the war, I'm going to claim everything. That way Portugal cannot be mad that I don't give him any land. If I do take anything. Okay. So now, if I were to declare on him, which I can't because we have a truce still, Portugal will not join me because he is in a war with me, so he can't be in war against me. So we're going to have you go ahead and hunt pirates in Sevilla. And then next month, wait, no, 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 he's going to turn the fort on. Okay, hold on. Make sure our maintenance is not at 100%. This is a little trick you can do. See? He didn't turn his fort back on. Tunis will join, but Portugal will not. We will take Malacca. And we still certainly have enough morale to stack wipe his army. Or at least, I assume we do. See? And just like that, we take this fort for free. Easy peasy. And I'm not concerned about Tunis because he's not gonna march men over. And that's all she wrote about Granada. So that's a nice way to do that. I'm in three wars currently. Light work. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I will pull these guys inland a bit. Hmm. What is this? We should win this. We have the heavy advantage. Let's go ahead and pull these guys out just to be certain. Okay. Go ahead and have you guys go home to repair for a month or two. We will definitely take Miltech. So what we're going to do is we're going to pile up over here. We might be able to bait Tunis into taking a bad fight. Worst case scenario, I won't take any land in this... ...in this fight. I don't, I don't care at all. So if Tunis walks over, he can mar march his men over here. Our general died. Feels bad, man. He can march his men over. Well, any of these guys can, matter of fact. So Morocco's in two war, war on two fronts right now. Morocco's... Oof. Yeah, he's probably not going to be having a good time with all of this. He gave me this. So check this out. I piece this war out. He's not even upset about it. It's a cheeky little exploit, but... I think it's great. Plus, he's down here taking all this... All these battles. He's probably going to end up losing. No. Oh, yeah, he's going to get stack wiped now. Wait. Oh, he fled. Okay. So, like, he's he just lost 8,000 men, and it doesn't affect me in the slightest. Not in the slightest. I'm totally fine. 
That's really good. Really good. So if Tunis wanted to, he could march his men right over here and march right across into Gibraltar, and it wouldn't it it wouldn't stop him because he's not involved with anything with Portugal or Morocco. At least I don't think he is. Just me. Yep. So I'm gonna need to piece him out before we can do anything. Mm, no general. Oh, he's got a one star. This is really funny, actually. We won the siege of Granada, baby. See if we can steal a couple of their ships. That would be pretty sweet. Still a, a light. I'll take that. So, the real question is, is how many men does Tunis have? Quite a few. Like 18k? So, I suppose... Like, this is the truth, the piece that we're going for. No doubt. No doubt. Like, it's going to have to happen. So, they do have a heavy. Oh, that's Morocco. Tunis has a heavy as well. So, let's see here. Let's detach the heavies, or the, the damaged ships. Let's just go see if we can do some blockading here. Is that a heavy? Yeah, it's his heavy. I don't care about Luka. Really? He sunk one of my ships and didn't even... Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, so... If we blockade him for a while... I reckon we'll be able to get the peace we're looking for. And I don't care about this war. That war was pretty much only... To, um... Jeez, oh Pete, man. Alright, time to go kill some rebels. Like we do. I guess that's fine. Because I can just have these guys handling that. Oh, I forgot to equip a general there. That is totally my fault. Let's put a general there. Let's also get a reinforcement tick for morale's reasons. Beautiful. So Tunis has high enthusiasm. It's going to be a while before I'm going to be able to piece them out, probably. Look at them fighting my rebels. Appreciate you, boys. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. They'll siege back all my stuff for me. Such gentlemen. Very good. I wonder if he's getting all of that. Um, no, not not nearly as much. Cool. So, it is my hope. Wanna? Yes, this is what I was looking for. Okay. Definitely not the best stats, but it's a female. Male. So now we can totally make our dude a king or our king a general. And we can just chill and wait. Now we wait. Yeah. Now we just have to wait till we peace out. And first episode, we might even be able to get the, um, Bur the <laughs> Burgundian inheritance. The, um, what's this thing called? The uh, Iberian Wedding, which would be pretty dope. It would be. You have to admit. Pirates of Morocco, of course. Jerks. Portugal suiciding their navy. Alright, Renaissance is here, and it spawned in uh, Ferrara. Cool. We do have a loan. One loan. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Pirates raiding my coasts like they do. So let's see. Let's see how many men. Portugal's lost 16,000 men. How many men have I lost in this war? 700. It's crazy. 
Just minimizing my losses. So I suppose we're ahead on mill. We should start considering our next idea. Our first idea group is obviously going to be exploration. So I probably can afford to switch over. We're going to need to core this stuff up. So we're going to be a little behind in admin for a while, but I don't think it should be an issue. We're also losing a bunch of money from this. Okay, a few more months and we'll be able to peace out. Let's see if we can get a couple of extra points for blockades over here. Okay, one or two months I reckon. Okay, yeah, probably two more months. Let's see here, we can do it. Full annexation of Granada. This is Drylands. So we will core all this up, that's that's totally fine. We're gonna also increase the autonomy down here because last thing I wanna deal with is rebels. I hate the rebels. Now ideally we get down here before he sieges that back. And we do. Just in time to kill off, kill off his army. Is this a fort? No, not a fort. So, Conquest of Tangiers is the Vorgal. We'll also take reps, and there we go. And just like that, we're done. That's it. I will increase the autonomy here, and we're gonna go ahead and send you guys home, half of them home. Have them suppress rebels here. Have these guys suppress rebels here. Looks like we're actually going to need to suppress more than just that. Looks like we have rebels kind of everywhere, honestly. Probably from the disloyal um, dudes. The disloyal nobility. So, we can do this button now. Reclaim Andalusia. And we will... Now, hear me out. We're going to expel them. And this is going to send us a little bit more behind on our... Admin, it's worth it in the long term. We're going to go up to one full stab. That way we can start working on our our prosperity. Um, we're going to need to make sure that we can keep prosperity in these regions. This one is a tough one because there's no fort down here. Um, so oftentimes what I will do if I'm playing solo is I will build a fort here and then probably like a fort in Sevilla and that will cover everything. So regardless, I think that's a great place to end it for the episode. We have a female heir. Um, Aragon has their male and male. Um, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, even if our king were to die before Juana comes of age, Maria de Trastamara, it counts as a female if it's a regent. So it should be okay. I think the Iberian wedding is, it's going to happen. We are in Northern Africa and we expelled the Moriscos. So I think we're doing well and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget, like I said, 500 likes a day. And when we start um, porting over to this, twice daily as Basilius finishes up we are going to go up to twice daily um and otherwise we'll stick with one a day that's totally fine with me as well like i said i'm always interested in making what you guys want to see so if you guys are enjoying the series and you're excited for what's to come um forever golden and do a possible world conquest let me know leave a comment down below let me know how you're what you're thinking recommendations moving forward if you'd like to see something specific in this campaign suggestions anything like that is all very very much appreciated don't forget to check out my buddy Quagrasol, and um, we have a Discord and a Patreon. So if you want to check those out, links are in the description down below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Those links are all below. I've been trying to stream more on Twitch, and uh, I would appreciate it if you drop the drop the follow because whenever I'm update, whenever I go live, you'll get an update. So regardless, I've talked long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yudaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.